Okay, so a uh, quick update. This is like take five. I'm uh, I'm a little tired. Uh, I think I had too much Benadryl and melatonin uh, last night. Um, but I wanted to give a quick update as far as uh, what I'm going to be putting on the blog uh, soon. Um, nothing too, you know, extraordinary um, as far as uh, changing the formatting or anything like that. And the content will just be the usual updating as far as what it is I'm working on. So the first thing I wanted to mention is the zodiacal table and the ensigns uh, that um, are associated with that. Again, for those of you who've been watching, it's just uh, those are derived straight up from the Watchtower tablets. And what those are, they um, will go, um, they will, I'll be giving, sharing my experience about um, basically this different phase that the angels are uh, putting me, th putting me into, let's put it that way. Um, they're develop developing the, you know, my version of how I'm doing things um, a little bit more. Basically what they're saying is, okay, you've been, you've been doing great for the last, you know, you know, a few years, but you, what the thing that you should be doing that you haven't been doing is using all of the elements of the system at once. And, and by that, they, they literally mean use all of the systems physically. And I, one of the things that I haven't been doing over the last year and a half, roughly, since Jebbafall is using the um, book of Libra Loga. So they're like, okay, now you need to, to use that and i.e. have it present and somewhat activated in the system. And for those of you who don't know, when I, when I was doing Jebbafall, I would put my hand and or hands on at least one of the leaves of the book. And it seems like leaf one is the way to go. And I'm sort of getting an intuition that, yeah, that's the case. So I'll be using that in terms of just, I, I won't be doing any special activation um, in terms of, you know, trying to read off what is on that leaf. It took, it takes about two hours if you wanted to read it off. And I just, I, I know that from experience. And if you think my voice is hoarse now, <laughs> try, try reading that off and vibrating that whole thing over two straight hours. It's, it's not fun. <laughs> It, I mean, it's fun. It's don't get me wrong. It's very energetic, and it's very. It's so in that sense, it's fun. It's just that your voice is gone afterwards. That's all I meant. So, so that's the the first thing is I feel like um, uh, there's there's sort of uh, this phase almost seems like a a wrapping up in terms of you know working on developing out um, you know whatever transmission is to come to me in terms of like expanding the system. Um, I mean, I don't get me wrong. I'll probably still channel. I'll probably, you know, I'll, I'll most definitely still be, do, be doing workings as my heart has moved to do them. But as far as um, additional, uh, you know, pieces to the system, uh, I don't think there are gonna be very many, at least not for another 50 years or so. When I'm 95, if I make it to 95, uh, there will there there's a good possibility that more will be revealed and transmitted. Um, but I don't know if I'll be around. Um, there's something in the astrology that leads me to strongly suspect that uh, something's coming. Okay, so that's the first part. Uh, the next part is that I will be doing um, a working. I've already got the pieces. Uh, you know, I, I'm, I'm not, you know, the expert in Enochian, so I do, I definitely lean on other people who are our experts. And one of those is Aaron Leach. And if you've seen his recent, um, episode of Esoterica, he, or with us on Esoterica, I should say as a guest, he, um, talks about this book of silvered leaves. And it was something that I, th that rang a very faint bell, but I realized that it was something that I had not really looked into. And he's done he's done all the research. Um, he's definitely, you know, I would say of all the people he's set, he's certainly somebody in terms of who, who, I, who I've leaned on a lot, um, in terms of fault, my, me working my path and stuff like that. So I'll, I'll credit to him. So, um, I'll go ahead and show you this. I got this book here, uh, which is a re relatively recent publication, the Enochian saga, uh, by Aaron Leach. And he goes into um, 
you know, the Book of Silvered Leaves, you know, a, a quick analysis of it. It's a very um, easy read. You know, it's a, it's kind of the thing that I wish, um, it's almost like, it, in terms of like the, the period that it, it's studying, the 53 to whatever, it's um, as easy a, a read as you're going to get. Um, in terms of like figuring out, okay, what was, what was actually going on? And he, he sort of, you know, did almost the impossible, which is make, uh, make what was going on with all those diaries, condense, condense it down, summarize it, and then write a, a, a singular through line, not of what the politics is, but of what the angels were saying about what needed to happen with Hinokia. Anyway, so I pulled out uh, my copy of Stephen Skinner's uh, diaries for that point, and um, and I just double checked both of them. And Kate, because you know you're only going to say so much in one book versus the other, you'll say more. Um, but the other one doesn't have the through line, so it is Stephen Skinner's copy of Dee's diaries, um, because those are very complete. I also have a copy of Actions between. You know, I'm. I'm I, I'm trying to I'm writing a bunch of lines here, you know, the nerd line, the you know historical interest line. You and I'm just trying to get a good 360 degree view of everything. So at any rate, um, he mentions this book of silvered leaves. So it occurred to me that I have not um, done that, and I like having done most of the materials. Um, uh, that's why I always add, you know, to my, to my knowledge, I've made everything well, this, I realized I had not made this. So let me go ahead and get, uh, do that. So just what that entails is the, uh, diaries. This is a book that comes from the angel Mapsama, which is, uh, whose Latin name, uh, translates to, cause there's a, it, it's a, it, tra it translates to, um, tell them. So I went ahead and uh, ordered materials, and I'm just kind of doing the same thing I did with the Book of Libra Loga. I'm getting the materials that were necessary as described by the angel um, in order to make the book. So the book is uh, 48 leaves long, not 49, and it has, uh, the each of the leaves was to bear silver on its skin. So to me, that says, okay, then that does not mean the entire leaf needs to be silver. It just means that it needs to have silver on it. So I went ahead and ordered some silver leaf. That's the last thing to get here. Uh, and just as with Libra Loga, I went ahead and ordered a, um, some scrapbooking materials because what John Dee and Edward Kelly were supposed to do, or at least what was transmitted to John Dee, how about that? Um, is they were supposed to bind these 48 leaves. And those leaves are, uh, you know, bound together. Well, I'm not a book binding person, but technically if you put a bunch of leaves in some, you know, plastic sheets and then stick them together as part of a scrapbook, they are bound. They're not going anywhere. That's the whole idea. You know, you, when you bind it, you, you, it, you know, you shake it around, you toss toss a book somewhere and the for the most part you know that book should stay together that's what being bound means that's all it means keeping a, a relative more or less permanent connection so uh i have uh i have those 30 leaves uh, they were supposed to be seven by eight inches for a perimeter of 30 which i thought was nice and of course that matches the number of aethers and the number of degrees of the zodiac and stuff like that uh, it also incorporates not only the septenary, septenary or seven base nature. I loved it when I, I learned that word, so I'm going to use it all the time, um, of the Enochian system. But also the number eight is actually the number of uh, the, the, the width of the square of the Enochian system. And eight by, uh, or the Enochian alphabet, I should say, when it was received. Because there are 21 letters, but each of those letters were spelled out. Uh, and that made an eight by eight square for 64 letters. You know, and what I mean by that is the letter B is in Enochian, it's pa, and so they spelled out P-A in Enochian letters. So that was pretty cool, I thought. At any rate, um, I have those 48 leaves, 
And yesterday when I went into work uh, to get those cut up, I took advantage of those, you know, paper cutting, their paper cutter. And I cut that up. Um, so I went ahead and made, you know, transformed uh, the eight and a half by 11s into seven by eights. So those are ready to go. The scrapbook has eight by eight. So I'm going to have to like tie, you know, uh, put in a single, you know, put in the leaf and then uh, probably I'll just cut off the plastic and then tape it over so that it will be, it will be transformed into a seven by eight. And I think that's sufficient. Uh, and really they, I can, I only have the um, angels, you know, instructions to go by. I don't have anything else perfect. And I'll go ahead and um, glue on some silver leaf so that each one of those, it won't be, it won't, I, I'm, I'm just a guy, you know, I'm not, I'm, I'm following the angels instructions as best I can. And that, that's what you'll realize if you ever start making materials, making the furniture, um, you're just a person. Uh, so you don't, you're not going to have this perfect, um, you're not going to be as perfect as the angels want it to be. I'm, I, you know, I tried as best I can to get those, uh, seven by eights perfect, but maybe they'll be off by a slight amount. Just that, you know, accepting your humanity is part of this process and the imperfection of your trying to complete what the angels have asked you to do is part of the process. So at any rate, um, so the next part is that the angels are to, what the diary said is that the angels are not supposed to, or that, that man is not worthy to write, uh, what is to appear in the book. So there are a couple of ways to take this. Um, Leach was very convinced, uh, in his write-up in the book that man's not going to, and that's a different thing from saying man, man's not worthy to. Because the thing is that if you go into, if, if the, the next step in the process is, okay, put all the leaves in there and in, in the book, you know, bind it, bind it together and um, then close the door to the room. Well, my, my current study is pretty much just that. Um, it, is, it has all of my Enochian furniture and I actually have a lock on it and it says make the door closed. And I think that means, you know, lock it behind you. Uh, at least that's the way Leach has it. And I'm not going to argue with that. But when he says that um, he, that, that, that man's not going to, I think closing the door, locking, locking it for, for two weeks, that's a sanctification process. And Mapsama, the angel, does even goes so far as to say, you know, it's, um, it's something about testing your faith or, or whatever the case may be. So either the angels, um, in fact, I'll go ahead and look that up real quick. Let's see. The angels say, 135-ish, 131-ish. <laughs> uh, okay, I've only heard of the book. What shall I do after I have bound it? D asks. Edward Kelly makes a, snark a snarky remark. And then the angel says, the 14th day of your rest, so I'm assuming this means after 14 days uh, exactly um, or roughly, uh, you know, even this tablecloth, I'm going to assume that to be the table that the cloth that some cloth that they, that was right there. But here I'm going to use the cloth that the angels instructed to have over the table. It says this uh, tablecloth and none other shall be spread for a banquet uh, and I'm assuming that's sort of a spiritual heavenly one, uh, wherein you shall invite the angels of the Lord. So I'm going to use D's invocation, uh, invoca invocation, nem, maybe bonorum uh, angelorum, something like that. I, I have it written down. Um, in the midst of the table, lay down the book and go forth. Uh, okay, so, um, so he's, so he's basically saying, it, it, you know, go ahead and lay down the table. Make the door, make also the doors after you, close them behind you, probably lock them. And then that the heavens may justify your faith, right? And you may be comforted for man is not worthy to write that shall be written. Neither shall be, there be found many worthy to open the book. So my guess is that um, it's possible that the angels will directly write that. Um, but also it's possible that those two weeks 
are, you know, something of a sanctification period typical for that time. And that after that, um, you're more, you're more sanctified. And so you, even though you're not worthy to write in the book, the angels may transmit it to you. That's possible. Another possibility is for all I know, the angels will literally write in the book, you know, stranger things have happened. But my guess is it's the former, mainly because having done the Abramelin operation is uh, the, the Abramelin operation, what you're supposed to do at the end uh, is you're supposed to, you know, whenever everything kind of clicks in and the holy guardian angel appears to you in full knowledge and conversation, you're supposed to look at a piece of silver. And when I did it, um, I looked at this piece of silver and uh, the what I found was that the Holy Guardian Angel's seal was there. And it was written as if, if you've ever like, you know, looked at a very bright, let's say, let's say you're looking at, you, you know, you, your eyes are closed or you're, you're looking into some, a very dark, you know, you're, you're in very dark lighting and your eyes are, have adjusted to that. And then let's say, you know, there's um, a neon, very bright, let's say, neon letters that appear in front of you and they say hello there or something like that. And then they, they come on and they immediately get turned off, right? Well, that's going to act like a, you know, old school flash photography, or I guess, I guess we've incorporated that into our phones now, where it's like sort of burned into your retina. That's what that was like. I saw that seal appear in that. So this already has me thinking, okay, how am I going to uh, make these leaves? And, you know, how much am I going to, you know, do that? And I don't, or how, how much of a surface area am I going to make available? That's what I'm trying to say. Blah. Like I say, it's early in the morning. Forgive me, folks. Um, I'm going to have that on each of those leaves. And my guess is it's going to be a seven day process um, wherein each, you know, I'm going to get two halves of each leaf. So 14 pages worth or sides of pages worth of, um, material to be written in that that is going to be seen there and I'm going to translate it I also I, I already like last night as I was falling asleep was getting told um okay you're going to get the the first thing you're going to get is 19 symbols that are going to be a uh, complement to the 21 letters and I already have a nice pattern um shown to me that it's going to be it's going to basically look like a church so um the uh top two, it's going to go in the following pattern. Uh, so it's going to go one, one, two, three, five, seven. So if you're just if you're doing the math, you know, like I did, okay, seven plus five plus three is 15. And then two, one, one is 19. And that um, each of those two of those things are going to parallel um, the uh, are going to parallel the um, uh, the are going to parallel two um, symbols out of the uh, uh, sorry, the two of those symbols are going to parallel each parallel two letters instead of just one. And there, then the rest is just going to be one to one correspondence. Um, so yeah, and <laughs> sorry. Uh, so it's it's kind of exciting. Um, so I apologize for the long explanation. But at any rate, that is sort of what is coming up next for me. Um, and this is sort of the, this isn't really that much. I mean, I, when I say, when I'm saying extending it, I mean, beyond what is the diary. So this is not, this is more of a completion fulfillment of what was in the diaries, not an extension where uh, like the zodiacal table is more of an extension. Um, it's like everything kind of lines up well, mathematically, um, but it's clearly not what was in the diaries or something that is directly coming from working what was in the diaries. I mean, maybe it is. I don't, I don't know. Um, like maybe each person who does, let's say, Jebafal is supposed to, is, is going to get an additional revelation that sort of matches their own energy signature. I have no idea. I, I don't know. I'm, I'm just a, a person who is uh, very lucky and um, has, you know, you know, had, had decent results. So so that's the next part. Um, there's also a book of supplication. Again, getting back to Aaron Leach and the stuff he was talking about. The book of supplication is um, something else that was supposed to come straight from the heart uh, that Dee was supposed to write. And, and Leach does not seem to think that 
did have had done it. Um, I don't know. Uh, I suspect that D had a lot going on <laughs> with his many children and all of the political um, maneuvering that was happening at that time. Um, so that will probably be that will probably come next. But I, I try not to do. I, I try to do just one thing at a time. Otherwise, um, you know, you go crazy. So that'll be the next thing, and I'll just uh, review, make sure that there wasn't anything else that I'm missing uh, from the Enochian system. Uh, the, but the fact that I, you know, that I've I've done so much digesting and, uh, and reading and reading and reading, and there's still more. It seems like it it shows it should show you like the richness and the um, density of what was transmitted, and in, in terms of like uh, words per minute, you know, there was a lot or or ideas or things to be made per minute. There's just so much. This is crazy in terms of like how did. I, it, how did how could two people, and sometimes three or four, you know, with additional assistance, get so much transmitted in a in a six year span? I have no idea, but um, just trying to work it and do it. I mean, I I had done some of this in twenty fourteen or so. Um, I I'd, I'd done some you know, workings, and then I set it aside for a few years. But like coming back and trying to get everything done, um, you know, the furniture made, uh, the reading necessary, all of that, um, as just, you know, one person trying to create what was already there and what other people, so many people have digested, you know, and, and you know, laid out, laid, laid out for me. It's, it's a lot. Um, and the fact that I thought I got to the end or more or less the end. And there's still a few pieces here or there with possibly additional transmissions. It just shows you, you know, don't, don't, you, you may not be quite as done as you think you are <laughs> if you get into an Okian. And that's okay because, um, and, and why do I say it's okay? Because you're still getting, you're getting, it, it's, it, it's like deepening your initiation. I, I think so, somebody commented and I went ahead and uh, replied that there is, that I, or I quoted, I think Robert Anton Wilson, who had a version of Aleister Crowley, you know, his fictionalized version for the purposes of his story. It's Masks of the Illuminati, if you're looking it up. A true initiation or a real initiation, something like that never ends, you know. It begins, but it doesn't end, right? And that sort of makes sense. It's an initiation, you're starting. But um, at any rate, so I'm getting, uh, I'm trying, I'm getting far afield here. I wanted to make sure I, ha I covered everything. So that will be coming up next. And I'll just go ahead and do another video, um, to, with the, uh, loving kindness. Cause this is kind of gone on a little too long. It'll be, people will have to like look for a timestamp and who needs that. So just to recap, um, Gonna do the uh, gonna do a write up of the zodiacal table in Laman, and I'm going to be uh, making the book of silvered leaves. Um, and that you know the angel said that the astrological timing would be obvious, and it is uh, based on the way the current transits are going right now. And that uh, after um, and then after that book has been made. Um, then I will go ahead and write up the, um, book of supplications at some point in the nebula nebulous future. And I'm also on top of all this working my full-time job and, uh, uh, working the, um, working to get certified in level two uh, instead of just level one of, uh, the NCGRPA. I got a lot going on. So anyway, uh, thanks for, so much for watching. And I will uh, write up my, um, or I will be posting a video on uh, a good loving, a, a short video, mercifully short video on loving kindness shortly. Okay, thanks. Bye.